Let's just get into it, bro. Your uh, <laughs> like, bro, it's whatever, but your your name, man, Pimpin Caprice. So like, obviously, I knew you was from California. So when I look into shit, I was like, I mean, you hear the name, I'm like, it really you got a name that sounds like could have been down here just with the Caprice right. part. You right, 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 right. Then you got the Pimpin part, which still could be some right, shit down right, here. right, 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 right. But I'm very aware, of, like how California is. So is that like? Not to get too deep in the shit, but is that is that just like a rap name, nickname? Man, look here, man. Look, I'm not a rapper, bro. Yeah. I talk that shit. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? And it is what it is. My name is from the game. You yeah. feel me? I'm going to talk that shit and walk that bitch. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers that know me, know me. Yeah. You feel me? And the people that I associate with, you feel me? Like, so... For instance, <laughs> me and uh, Rallo, right? Mm -hmm. We we was having a conversation about this gentleman. He uh, basically it's like, bro, you 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 claim you the game, you claim you the ism, you know what I'm saying? But don't nobody know you, bro. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know you, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, okay, what is this? Is this just some shit? Is this some rap shit? Mm -hmm. Or is this some genuine shit? But it's like, bro, you got to let motherfuckers know you. Mm -hmm. Pull up on them. Yeah. You feel me? Pull up on them, see what they, you know, chop some game with them. You ain't necessarily got to pull up on the track and have a bitch with you, this and that. But pull up on the pimping, mm -hmm. acknowledge yourself as the pimping, and let's pop some pimping. Yeah. Right, so, like, so you're saying, like, on some. Like how rappers do, like when they come to other cities and it's like niggas t tap in. And when we say tap in, it doesn't mean like yo niggas is like pussy. It's like nah, you just, just get, get up with the niggas out, make sure you yeah, straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, it's a difference between tapping in and checking in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The niggas don't check in. Yeah. You feel me? Some of them niggas do, maybe the rappers do. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But real niggas don't check in. Yeah, we might tap in to our folks mm -hmm. that's in the area. We ain't checking in or tapping into somebody just because they run in the city or they big in that city. Yeah. You don't run nothing over here just because you big in that city. I ain't from your city. Mm. I ain't got no obligation to you to come say, hey, I'm in your city. Yeah. And so is 50 other motherfuckers. 100,000 <laughs> other motherfuckers in your city. Yeah. But anywhere I go that I got people in, hey, bro, I'm out here. Yeah. Just be like, man, what's up? What, what we got up? You feel me? I was going to say, like, so, like, with the, the, the pimp and shit, there's, like, a, like, a, Nigga, that's like that does his own things on like city goes to another city because obviously a lot of people like pimps and shit right. travel. Right. They got they got to tap in with other pimps like that. Nah, it ain't, it ain't yeah. like that. If you if you got people's where you at, yeah, you gonna be like, hey folks, you know what I'm saying? What's up? What's shaking? You wanna go have a drink? We yeah. woo woo. But just cause it go to a city, I might go to uh Seattle. Mm -hmm. I might not know nobody in Seattle. I don't give a fuck. I'm not here to know you, nigga. I'm here for this bitch to get some money. Yeah. She the one that motherfuckers need to know, not me. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I tap in with my peoples. I'm very anti-social, man. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like I don't even like niggas, bro. I respect it. You feel me? So if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and we keep that relationship, and that's how I've been, especially with this music shit. That's how I move. A lot of dudes I fuck with on this music, mm -hmm. I build relationships with. Yeah. Personal relationships. Not just business, but personal relationships with. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And that takes you farther. Because sometimes you got to kind of like, hey, grab on, grab on your coat real quick. Because mm -hmm. I know you you pop so if I fuck with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's part of business. part of the game. Yeah. On some, uh, not to make it sound like dumb. Man, say what you got to say. Jack, we ain't win. Uh, <laughs> we ain't cutting nothing around here, man. It's straight chase. No like. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, you pimp and caprice, man. Like, is there any was there any resemb like the like say a movie like Hustle and Flow as a as a pimp and a rapper like is that there shit came after the fact that movie came after the fact you feel what I'm saying like the pimp and shit a pimp go he gonna talk that shit he gonna spit that shit yeah so what's better than popping pimping over a beat yeah it sounds better mm -hmm. you feel me so as an artist your job is to paint a picture mm -hmm. for the consumer to see so they can visualize what you talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it's just like, 
that's how I express myself. I was gonna say like, cause being a pimp is kind of like, like for with rappers, it's kind of like athletes and rappers. Athletes want to be rappers, rappers want to be athletes. And so some would say like, yo, some pimps want to be rappers, and then some rappers really want to be pimps. Like, do you, did you? I agree more that rappers want to be pimps and the pimps want to be rappers. Yeah. A lot of pimps don't want to be rappers because they're too busy pimping. Yeah, I was gonna say because like niggas, these niggas is rapping about this shit like they really too want busy to pimping, man. I'm gonna tell you, man, listen. What pimp rapper have you seen come out with projects on a steady pace? I mean, you know where I'm gonna go with it, man. We in Texas, it's all swap it. Okay, okay. Okay, we get so we get sauce. We get, we get we get so. We I get mean, he's, but maybe he's new age. So like, do niggas? No, he is not. No, he's new age because sauce, 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 pimping for real, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I get sauce, man. You know what I'm saying? I get sauce with champagne glass, man. You feel me? Um, hit me filthy, hit me filthy, hit me yeah. filthy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but them is niggas that's on a level where they can do that. They 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 can do that. They got the bread. They didn't build themselves up mm -hmm. to do that because at one point in time. You using the bitch to fund the music mm -hmm. before they got to the point to where the music is paying more than the bitch. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? So if you if you go back and do some research on my shit, bro, this artism. Yeah. I dropped that artism in like 2015, mm -hmm. right? I had dropped something. In five years, I did a I did an album Operation Gouda mm -hmm. in 2010. I stopped for two reasons. Number one is I needed to perfect my craft. Mm -hmm. I needed to perfect my flow. Right. This was in between Operation Gouda and Artism. Yeah. Second reason is I was too busy pimping. Yeah. I didn't have time to hit no studio. I gotta sit this bitch down. We gotta go to this city. We gotta hop this fight. My mind is right here. Yeah. My mind ain't in no motherfuck rap. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So then I was like, okay, you know what, man? I'm gonna get this shit one more shot. And I said, if I don't get my name popping, the motherfuckers know who I am. Then I just throw my hands up to this music shit. Mm -hmm. So I dropped Artism. And that's when it, you know, I start getting motherfuckers to know, you know what I mean? That's when I start building relationships. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Sperry Springer, no Jerry Springer, man. We up in this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Live and direct in this triple D, you dig me? Yeah.